What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and I'm looking for other weapons to use in my Blurred Trickster save, and with my Blurred Trickster build. So I'm going to go ahead and test out the Casual Sword Splosion, which is a unique shotgun from the Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep DLC. With this build, I have an 80% ricochet with Chain Reaction, and so hopefully that works out very well with the Sword Splosion, and Converge, and Ruin, and all of that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll see if I can't work through the barroom blitz quest in a timely manner. What I want to do to start is find two enemies that are grouped up, kind of like this. And then go ahead and see if I can kill them both with a uh, just a couple sword explosion shots. And it worked there, so that was pretty cool. Now we're going to be looking for an ultimate badass enforcer, because those are the ones required for us to kill to actually comp complete this quest, which doesn't have a very long timer on it. Doesn't look like, oh here, we finally got one to spawn, so that's good. We'll go ahead and try to shoot him to death. I do believe I've seen people kill themselves with the sword explosion before, so I'm going to try to avoid that. I've never really used the sword explosion, I only shot it a couple times, just goofing around when I first got it with uh, Zero in the Tiny Tina DLC. So hopefully I'm not so novice with it that I end up wrecking myself multiple times. No guarantees though. See, I definitely did take damage from it there. So uh, it's definitely probably possible to kill yourself, and that's something I'm going to try to watch out for. Uh, apparently it didn't work there, and I died. Luckily we were able to get a second wind with it, so that was pretty cool. So uh, yeah, something to watch out for there if you're using the... Uh, sword explosion you have to watch where those child swords go because they'll kill you as well as they'll kill an enemy especially since uh it's doing level 80 damage and you only have level 72 health something to watch out for luckily we've made it through a few of the badass bruisers now and we'll see if we can't uh finish this off badass enforcers i should say not bruisers i'm being a little extra cautious right now killing things slow because i don't want to get caught in my own sword explosion again, but we were still able to complete the quest in a timely manner, and it's definitely working to reflect off enemies when they're grouped up and kill multiples at once. This may be a really cool weapon to kind of accent your pimpernels with, and give yourself a little bit of close range firepower as well with the blurred trickster build. So far, the conference call and obviously the pimpernel have made very strong showings. Um, the sword explosion is looking pretty good as well. There is that one major drawback where you can obviously kill yourself, but, you know, other than that, uh, it's a very powerful weapon. As you can see, it's just wrecking things, even from a little bit of range, which is cool. I think we got just a couple more enemies left. We'll see if we can't get a good chain reaction off these two guys. Ha, <laughs> we killed them both. Demonstrating exactly what I kind of wanted to demonstrate there with the chain reaction. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I recommend you try out the Sword Explosion with Maya. Um, after this first little test, it's probably going to be one of the weapons I include on the Blurred Trickster save, which is coming soon. And hopefully there will be some other weapons I find out about that are fun to use with this build. Uh, I know you guys are giving me some good suggestions, and I'll be sure to test out some of those as well. Anyways, guys, here's a quick look at my skill build, and my badass rank was off. Anyways, um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. Otherwise, I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.